All right, here they are. We have the one I call Black Beauty. This is the little bit of debris that was inside there. You can hear it rattling. Oops. And This is a rare earth magnet, it's very powerful. My camera ain't gonna pick this up, but those little spots in there are micro diamonds. See the camera making it flutter a little bit, but nine hundred and seventy grams, eight hundred and seventy one of the two. Wow. But it's very heavy, very beautiful iron meteorite. Um, I do believe it's part of Black Beauty. Uh, it's very, I mean, with just saying the grams, you, you, know, you can understand. I mean, it does have some pretty good weight to it. Shaped as a piece of pie. And then we got the smaller ones, which the magnet just hopped off of. Little small one. I haven't opened it up. I haven't sanded it and done nothing to it. Magnet stuck to it just to show you that it is magnetized. And that's another iron. Here's a Here's one that's questionable but very odd. Looks like it's been around for a long time in the field that we were in looking. Um, very highly magnetic. Uh, I'm gonna say those are ovaline crystals but they're very dull and they do have a shine to them. Um, I don't know, you guys call this one, let me know. Put in the comments. There's no rude and disrespectful comments. So believe me, I know my stuff, been doing it for a long time. Just started it up and wanted to let everybody view it. Here's another iron, but this has that line matrix kind of design in it. This is a viewing window that I had created so I can see what is inside this thing. It's my hand closed. Um, it does have a line matrix kind of look to it. Can't pick up the opposite running lines, but I can see vertical lines if I hold it this way. But that's a chunk. It was blasted off of one millions of years ago. Pretty cool, huh? Got some good weight. I think this one was four something, four hundred and something grams. It's pretty heavy. Pretty solid. This video does shut off. This is another iron type stony one. Um, the video does shut off. I'll make another video and upload it and just carry on to that one just watch it, it'll be finished up from this one I am recording on my cell phone like I said, this is the beginning I will get a nice camera this is um, kind of interesting, I found this in Arizona in one of the deserts and I know it's a meteorite because it's iron but, look at the shape of that does that look Native American to you? Like they tried to use a meteorite and chipped it up or whatever at one time? Because these are old breaks. These are old chips. There's iron all up in it. But then there's these white crystals that I can probably polish and they'll be looking really nice. But I won't. I'm not touching none of them.
Um, I do have favorites. This isn't one of them, but this is another one. Look at that large green crystal in that one. Look at that. Really, really neat. Ovaline, palisite, one of the two. But this is a stony iron. Um, I do got some from Mars, that I do believe, but I'm not trying to uh, tell anybody lies because I sanded this one down to see what kind of what kind it was because it's very ugly. Doesn't have a very nice look to it. But I know it's a meteorite. It's iron. It's not iron ore. It's definitely not iron ore. It's just really dirty. And it's not hematite. I have hematite. This is hematite. Watch this stick to a magnet, pull the magnet from whatever it's going to try to pull it from. Look at that. This is hematite. See that? I sanded that down. I found that natural field, natural hematite. And I sanded that down so I knew. And boy, did that sand and polish nicely. I don't know, hematite's a really nice stone. I don't understand why that and Apache Tear has a bad name. That's some another chunk of iron. Really neat specimen. I don't don't know what kind it is, but it's not highly magnetic. Uh, I put it out in the sun for a little while and it does stick. Magnet does stick to it when it heats up, so I don't know. You guys help me call that one. One of my favorite ones. Let me find it. I set it back down. Um, of course this one. And this one. Of course the iron, Black Beauty. Yes. That's the money maker right there. That's the real deal. I mean, all of them are beautiful money makers. I'm going to get to this one that's rounded right there, but I'll get to that one in a second. But these ones, for some reason, they keep catching my eye. I gave that one a little window. I know some of you guys will say, oh, you ruined it, blah, 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 blah. No, I'd rather give it a little sand on the outside to look on the inside instead of cutting a dang piece off of it or sending it away so they can cut it. Here, at least, I know, and I ain't got to send it away to get rid of it. This one is a stony Mars. I do believe this one's from Mars. Because these little nodules right here are really neat crystal looking green things. And that's all over it. I like U-shaped. And then you look into it. My camera, it's a phone, I know. You look into it and the video is showing all the different minerals and before humankind stuff inside this one. I do believe this one's Mars. Chunks of iron inside it all over. Beautiful rain. Beautiful, beautiful stone. Another favorite right here. This is a good size heavy one. Um, I do believe this is a Chondrite. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but that one I know. Um, it's a nice little hold it upright magnet stays of course um, I know that these are not stones that have been switched around molecularly with uh, the different minerals and iron composites inside riverbeds because this wasn't found in a riverbed none of my meteorites are found in riverbeds and I know better You see, and 